What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlayBookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Kent State to finish the regular season, and we got the win, an easy win, 49-9. to nine. It was another good matchup for us. They didn't have really good quarterback play. They didn't run the ball hardly at all. Just another pass-happy team trying to outscore us through the air, and it just doesn't work against us. So thankfully, we got the win, and we finished the regular season strong, going 9-2. We have won our division. We won that after beating Ohio in the previous video before that. And now we're going to take on Eastern Michigan in the conference title game. They've lost two in a row. We're not sure why, uh, but they're doing some things right enough to at least get to the conference title game. They must have won the toss-up between Toledo. I think Toledo is right there with them. Now, I don't know what they run offensively, defensively. It looks like they got a little bit more talent than we do. You look at their stats, they pass the ball pretty well, which is in our favor. We're good matchups with that. But def defensively, they look pretty sound outside of the rush defense. We're going to hopefully exploit that today and just run wild on them with the number one rushing attack in the country. But they're really good on the turnover differential front. Everybody knows that's the most important uh, stat in football. Turnovers is key. So let's go ahead and take on Eastern Michigan. Now, you got to keep in mind, this is going to be a longer video than usual because we got to look at some of the end of the season type stuff before we head our, to our bowl game in the next video. So make sure you stay for that. Let's look at some uniforms. Not a bad look. That's their default away. Do they have an alternate? There's their alternate. I like the green, just gives them more, you know, just give them a little more color. I think we'll go with that. So I think we're heading back to Detroit. Is that where our conference title game is at? Ford Field, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. If we win this one, we're going to head right back to here. I'm quite positive the top team in this conference goes to Ford Field to play in the, what, the GMAC Bowl? Is that what it is? We'll find out eventually. We got to win it first. But it's time to win a conference title. This has been our number one goal since we started the dynasty. We got to start winning conference championships. Hopefully, we can do that today. Yes, this is Ford's field, or Ford field, I should say. We're ranked, having a killer season. Toledo gave us more than we could handle last year. Thankfully, we're not playing them this year. Hopefully, we can get things done today. Good looking uniforms across the board for both teams. They're going to highlight Gardner. He's a freshman All-American, just an incredible ball player for us. He's been an absolute stud. We could retire his number one day if he keeps doing what he's doing. They're going to pick us to win. Let's go to the coin toss. And they are going to receive it. And I'm going to get the ball started in the second half. We are indoors, so there is no win. I also forgot I need to get my little screen capture just to make sure that's ready to go so i could take some thumbnails later so let's check out their roster starting off quarterback oh my gosh they got speedsters back here both of them 84 speed his backup's got 82 speed so we're not going to do hardly any blitz in the day especially if they just want to run around all day but you look at a halfback at least they don't have an impact halfback that's good so it makes you wonder why they have such a terrible running attack if they don't run the ball that's probably why they don't run the ball with their quarterbacks. They may do something today. We're going to find out. But thankfully, they don't have an impact guy here. Fullback, nothing. They are a spread offense. I do know that much. And they got a 92 overall impact wide receiver. That kid looks like an NFL player. Man, he's built solid. 82 behind him, 76, 70. So they got their top three guys are pretty good. Tight end looks like a decent little group, and they can run a little bit. 76 speed, 74 for the other one. Uh, all three can catch. So it wouldn't shock me if this group made an impact today. You look at offensive line, 70, 82, 74, 80, 80. Not the greatest in the world. Hopefully our front four can get a push on them. You look at their defense. I don't know what kind of defense they run, but they got a true freshman left end at 72 and 76 on the other edge. Defensive tackles, 74, 74, 72. Not a whole lot there, thankfully. So I think our guards can get a push up front. Linebackers, they got an impact guy, 78 overall, 78 at middle linebacker, 74 at right. You look at corners, not very good. Maybe we can go over the top on them today. 74, 72, 72. You look at the free safety, 72 and 74. So their secondary is really bad. Hopefully we can hit them with a few play action uh, passes. 
They got arguably the best kicker in the country, 97 overall impact player, which actually is in our favor. It's not on a halfback or a quarterback. So I'm actually okay with that. You look at punter, not much. Uh, but again, they got an incredible kicker. All right, it comes down to this. Let's see if we can win our first conference title of our dynasty. I'm going to kick it away from the impact guy. And let's get this show on the road. Let's see if we can make a decent tackle out of the gates. Nowhere to go there. I am, oh man, I really want to blitz, but I'm going to back off of that. I'm actually going to go 4-2-5. Cover three. They're going under center. So I can't tell if their numbers are black or green. Just kind of weird looking. Ow, ow. I completely whiffed on that one. Terrible on my part. Let me go. I'm going to go quarters. We're going to go from nickel. I'm going to do something like this. Screen. I'll oh, get a little throw over to the slant. I had to go defend the screen, so I can't defend both. Back to four wide they go. I'll just stay in quarters. They may just dink and dunk on us all day. Eh, I'm going to actually go weak side there. Make a tackle, somebody. I'm going to pick up three or four. So I'm going to force him short. Just keep going cover threes and fours. Eventually, I think I can pick one off today. I should have done a little bit better job than last time on that first throw. Overshot that one just enough. So that makes it, what, third and six. I'm going to go clown. I'm going to control this defensive end. I'm pretty sure the quarterback's right-handed. I'm going to stay back and just kind of keep him in the pocket. Ooh, almost picked off. Great stop. So we're going to force a punt on the six. I am. I'm going to go all out block. If we bump it to the punter, it'll only be a five yard penalty. So we can do that. Oops, they're coming in to protect. Never mind. Never mind. We're not going to be able to block that one. That's a punt and a half right there. That hopefully that'll go in the end zone. And it will. And I forgot to adjust those kicking sliders again. I, feel, I still think they're kind of high, but no big deal today. So we're going to go triple out of the gate. Looks like they are a 4-3 team. Nothing up the middle. Great pitch. That big guy ain't going to make a tackle, that's for sure. Good play there. Started off. Run a little triple. Just nice little pitch. You, you, Your quarterback can pitch it better when he's not using the speed button. That's just another little tidbit there. Let's try tackle. So they may be flipping their linebacker a lot today. Anytime you got an impact outside linebacker, these CPU teams, they just love to move those guys around. Get about five or six of there. Second and three. I'm going to try triple from twins. They're going 5 2. Uh, uh, we'll go this way. I'm just going to cut up like this. First down. Great play by Jackson. Anytime they're going zone, kind of think go upfield. And thankfully, this guy kind of went for Gardner just enough, and he wasn't able to come back and make a play on me. I think he made the tackle, but either way, good play. So we are first and 10. I'm going to go wishbone tight, and I'm going to go halfback option. And we're going nickel. Probably run to the left. Go over here, just get a block right there. Just enough. Can Gardner, I'll just let him handle it. Get a first down. On the 19. I'm going to go back to this formation. I'm going to try. I need to try this play more often. I always forget that I have it. We're going to go with a play action play. And I'm going to let Jackson do a little rollout and see if anybody's open. If we can get decent blocking. Go to Rand. I'm just going to let him run it. 
Can he get there? Just enough to get by six or seven. Kind of, it's an option play, more or less. It's an RPO. Second and three. We'll go back to triple from normal. And they're going 5-2. But they're crunching in. I'm going to go to the left. That's where our strength is at. Yep, that was a good idea not to hand that one off. But we're going to get six points with our impact quarterback. So just a good, easy, simple drive down the field. I don't think we had a single third down on that drive, if I'm not mistaken. You go back and look. I wanted to go to my dive read, but that linebacker kind of plugged it up, so I'm glad that didn't happen. So I just kept it and took it to the house. So that is the power of the triple. Gets even more powerful when you can actually give it to that dive read. So let's kick an extra point. We'll get back on defense. Something like this. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the potty. 80 yards, 39 seconds. Just very quick. Just We just made our plays. So that's how you want to start a game. I'm going to kick it back over to the left if I can. It should go over there. It's not going to be as strong of a kick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Great run. Good play on their part. They're going four wide. It's going to force me to go nickel. I'll go back to quarters. Like, every single pass play of theirs on their first drive was just dink and dunk. Everything was five yards and in. And me throwing quarters at them is going to do more of that. Just get a hand up there. Keep it safe. So that is what? Second and ten. I'll probably stick with the same play. It said they was going three wide, but they're putting two tight ends out there. And that's what I, I'm worried about. That's a good little pitch, too. Face mask to boot. Good job, Pace. That's what I'm scared to death of, is their speedy quarterbacks actually running the ball some. It's a five-yarder, but it's going to be a first down anyways. If I don't know, I should, I should have stuck with their original uniforms. I think it would have popped better. I don't like their numbers. And that probably has been fixed. This is an older texture pack. Oh, I, I just whiffed that one terribly. Wow, this, wow, look at that. Six points. <laughs> Gee whiz. I can't even get mad about that. Now, I didn't do a good job right there. But impact receiver, look at that. Just destroyed everybody on that one. That was a good block right there, too. And just like that, they've tied it up. Well, at least they're smart enough to go to go to their best players. I'll try to do better. It's always a hit and miss with me over there. I can either get interceptions or I can really fumble that thing. I think I'm going to pick one off eventually. They keep throwing over in that direction. I think we're going to get one. So let's get back on offense and see if we can get that touchdown back. I'm going to let that one go. I'm not going to be able to get much out of it. Middle of the field. I'm actually going to go... Uh, let's go BB option from slot. I'm just curious. They're going five. They keep running five two. It's going to force me to go. I think I'm gonna have to go right. Just be patient. So I guess we'll probably keep this one. Get a first down. Now I think I'm gonna try play action. We'll go back to normal and do it. We'll go PE row right. And they're going man. I'd love to see if New Whale can just go over the top right there. That'd be cool. They're going cover one. Great throw. Good tackle, though. Going to pick up, what, five or six? Picked up seven. I'm going to go power. And they're going, wow, they are really going all in on that 5-2 today. I'm going to run to the left. And nobody blocked. Not a single person blocked on that one. So that makes it, what, third and five. I may... I'm going to go... I'm going to go power option. And I'm going to see if Jackson can handle this. I'm going to have to go left, I think. That was just all kinds of terrible. Nobody blocked the defensive end. And I guess I, did, I went back too far. Ah, Lee. So we're going to punt it. 
It's kind of hard to tell how much depth you got there. Should I go in or not? They got their receiver back there. I'm going to have to high kick it. And that's a terrible kick. Oh, this ain't good. Okay, at least it's high enough. I think he's going to fair catch it. Okay, shoo. Really bad. So they're in a good spot at the moment. I'm going to go here. And we're going to do something like this. We need a turnover. They're going dive. Good stop. Barely get a yard on that one. He's going to get a couple. Looks like they're going gun spread. Do not go speed option. Speed option. <laughs> I guessed that one correctly. Fun oh, what was he doing there? How lucky can you get? He pitched it to an offensive lineman. I think he just didn't mean to pitch. Or that was a fumble? It was just weird. It didn't bring it up that it was. That was a weird play. They're lucky, though. They get the ball back. So what we're going to do is third and six. I'm going to stay back. He is a righty. Oh, my gosh. Great throw. First down. So they are on the move pretty easily. I am... I'm going to throw a zone blitz at him just to see how he handles it. We haven't done that yet. So I'm going to try it. Now, it's gun normal. This may be kind of tough. But they went play action. Good guess. <laughs> That's when you want to try those zone blitzes against play action. Second and 16. They're forcing me to go nickel a whole lot. They're going four wide. I don't know if my 4-2-5 can handle that as well. We can maybe sneak some of that in. See what we got going here. Okay. Bad throw, thankfully, and I was, was able to get in the way. So it's third and forever. I'm going to try Cloud again. This time I actually may go after him. They're going too tight in, though. That's going to be kind of hard to get him. Unless I can get around this tackle, I may have to go inward. He's got all day to throw, but it, I think that's out of bounds. So we're going to force a punt. So we mitigated that mess of the last drive we had. So we're going to get back on offense and see if we can play a little bit better. We'll go back to the run game. Ah, that's a killer punt. Look where this is going. That's You can't ask for anything better. Wow. So that is... On the three. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go power. Got to be careful. And they're going 5 2. They're crunching in. I'm going to go I'm to the left. Just get a block. Just good defense. Okay. Let's go triple. They're keeping their linebacker over there. And they're crunching in. I'm going to go back to the left. I'm just trying to stay away from him. Nothing up the middle. Ah, just good play. Good defense. So I'm going to go. It's first quarter, or end of the first, seven all. I'm going to go with a rollout. I'm going to let Jackson handle this. Of course, they got their impact guy on that end. They always do that. They just, they're smart enough to know to do that. Uh, nobody's open. But we're going to run for get a first. Oh, geez. <laughs> Great play call on their end. They went cover three. And I probably could have went to Gardner right there, maybe. But I've noticed this guy was just kind of stalling, thankfully. Get us out of that murky situation. I'm going to go back to halfback option. I'm going to give Jackson a rest and we'll go back to triple or something with him. Now they're moving. They're switching the linebacker again. Uh, just keep it with New Whale. Second and one. Second and three. I may go power option from normal. Now their linebacker is not out there. That's helpful. Just get a block right there. Add a kid. Add a kid. I'm just going to keep it. No reason for him to get hurt or hit. Good run there. We need... Let's go play action again. 
We're going to flip it. They're going man. Would love to go to Gardner over the top. Then we cover zero. But I think that impact linebacker will be on him. They're going cover one. Great throw. Atta boy, Jackson. So Jackson's playing good at the moment. Really good throw. He's hitting those out routes decent enough. I'm going to go split. And I'm going to go triple. Should I go to the... I think I'm going to go to the right. Do something like this. Oh, dang it. I just goofed up on that one. I tried to hand it off to my B-back. I just goofed up. That's all my fault. So that makes it, what, second and 12? What's a good idea? Uh, I may go back to power option again. They're crunching in. I may go to the right. Get a block or two, everybody. Get a block or two. First down. Good run there. Let's go back to wide and let's run basic. Where's it at? Let's go back to power. Hopefully their defensive line and they're going 5-2. If they spread out, this is not going to work at all. But they're crunching in. Good. So we're going to run to the left. Get a block right there. Go, Gardner. First down. Huge play. So we're slowly getting down the field. It's taking a while, but we're getting there. Good run, though. Now we just got to keep it simple and just try to get a touchdown. I'm going to go back to normal. And I'm going to go tackle. I think I'm going to run to the left. Can we get a block? Eh, nope. S scared me half the death, that defensive end coming off the edge. And we had him there, too. I just got spooked. So that's all me. So that's what, second and 11? Second and 12. I may try triple again from normal. I'm going to run to the left. Again, the whole point is just kind of stay away from that linebacker if you can. Nothing up the middle. And we're going to get another touchdown with Jackson. Great blocking, everybody. So you go back. Nothing up the middle. My guard got destroyed on that one. So I had no choice but to keep it. Incredible block. I Morse to get a touchdown. This could be a pretty good thumbnail. Let me get that while I'm here. Something like this will be pretty good. Go ahead and get that. He had our, He was our thumbnail of the last game. But he may get it twice, depending. I just got to get a couple more thumbnails. So we got the, the touchdown back. We're up a score. Let's get an extra point and try to stop him again on defense. Terrible kick. And I made it. <laughs> I hit that button so late. <sighs> but it went through. Let's see if I can make a decent kick here. Kick it over here. Oh, that ain't good. That's going to the impact guy. So my kicking is not on point today. Get off that guy. Make a tackle somebody. There you go. Good luck getting to that force field. So that makes it what? First and 10. I think they're kind of on the right hash. I'm going to go to 4 2 5. We'll just run soft coverages on them. They seem determined to throw the ball a lot. Good open field tackle. I couldn't see. I was kind of out of the camera view. Picks a couple. I'm going to stick with the same play, probably. We'll probably leave it as is. They're going twins. Oh, ow. <laughs> Almost picked it off. That's what we was hoping for. Something like this. I thought I actually whiffed it, but nope, I was right where I needed to be. But he dropped it. That's probably why he plays defense. Third and eight. I'm going to go back to Cloud. If you've noticed, the quarterback has not ran on third down yet or any pass play, honestly. So I'm going to kind of just stay in my spot, occupy this tackle, and I'm going to force this quarterback to throw on us. And they're going to run the ball. Ooh, get it, get it, get it. So we're fortunate here. They, I thought we were going to get a face mask as soon as I saw him turn around like that, but it was a fumble. Look who forced the fumble. Corner, our number one corner. They do get the ball back. 
but it's fourth down. Fourth and two. Huge play. We're going to get that ball back. If we could score here, then I'll feel a whole lot better about it. We got to take advantage of another stop. I want this punter to shank it to the right. He's not the best punter in the world, but he kicked it pretty good there. I'm going to see if I can get down to the sideline. Nobody blocked 39. I'm actually going to go with a rollout out of the gate. And they're going zone, and thankfully they're impact linebackers on the opposite side, so I don't have to worry about him. They're not even blitzing hard either. Going basic cover two. That's what you want right there. Six points. <laughs> New hell. The freshman sensation. Touchdown. Boom. <laughs> we haven't been able to do that against cover two zone. Hardly any this year. Maybe a time or two, but not off a touchdown like that. Just an incredible play. Spin move. Get off me, son. Six points. That could be a good thumbnail, too. I wonder if I can. I have it in mind. Let me go. Something like, can we get a good view of kind of who is over there? I'm not really, oh, that's actually not a bad little thumbnail right there. Oh, my gosh, an incredible play. Good backdrop. Play of the game so far. They went with a soft cover two zone, and I had the flag route to hit. They didn't put any pressure on me, and their impact linebacker was on the opposite side, so I didn't have to worry about him. And now we're up two scores. Let's get back on defense. We've had two really good stops as of late. And this is going probably too far. I think that's going to... Nope, he's going to return it. Get a tackle. Good job. Number 17. Yeah, I think that's two tackles for him already on kickoffs. Let's stick to a soft cover zone. Cover three. I'm do this. We're going back to Gun Twin, Gun Ace Twins. I love that formation. It's got some good stuff in it. Uh, intercept that. Oh my gosh, that was another interception. Our defenders just can't make the grab. But he is. That's pace. He's been really good for us these last two seasons. We're going to miss him. No, actually, I think he's a junior. I actually think he's a junior. So I think he's coming back next year. Unless he wants to go pro. I hope that doesn't happen. Let's go here. Back to cover three we go. Halfback direct. Thankfully, they don't have halfbacks that are very dynamic. So it's third and eight. This is what you want. We've been doing this all day. So our defense is doing their part and in getting into these third and long situations. But I want to keep this guy in the pocket. I'm going to occupy this tackle. And they're running a little clock here. I didn't think about that. They may run the ball here. Yeah, they're running clock. I'm just going to stay here, and that's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere, son. You got to make a better call than that. Fourth and ten. I'm going to go double cross. I'd like to get us a decent return. I wish this punter would shank it to the right. That would be insane. Then Carter can just go right down the sideline and get a touchdown. His last punt was pretty good. He went back to the same spot again. And we're going to have to fair catch that one. So a minute 40. We got plenty of time. We got all three timeouts. I'm going to go triple from wishbone wide. We can run our normal stuff. Again, we got plenty of time to do this. Uh, uh, just bad. All kinds of terrible. I should have pitched that thing off. Well, there's nothing up the middle anyways. There's nothing. I, I got spooked. <laughs> How many times have I done that today? Like two or three times. It's second and 12. I'm going to go halfback option. I'm not really in a hurry to try to do something here, to be honest. But we're going to call a play here. Just get up. First down, Gardner. Golly. Oh, it's 30 inches. How is that 30 inches? If I go normal, are they going to go... Are they going to go goal line on us here? No, 4-3. And the clock has stopped. Ooh. We'll go to the right. Whew, just enough. Let's just get out of bounds. Save a timeout. That's a big play right there. So I think I'm going to go back to that same play. 
I just want to make sure I don't have... I'm going to try smashed. I think we can make this work. Well, they're going man, so it doesn't make a difference. I may hit Garner, possibly. Nope, not yet. Make a play, Garner. Number three, baby. Oh, it was worth a shot. Second and ten. I'll probably go back to option, just basic power option. Going zone. I'm, I'm a little just, I'm trying to be careful, not give him the ball back before the half. Cut up field. Yeah. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to call a timeout. They're going third. Uh, I'm going to go power option. We're going to do it from tight this time. And they're going four, three. I'm surprised. I'm just, I'd rather not them have the ball before the half than me try to score. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Let me go ahead and just snap it. Just enough. Did we get it? I think we got it. Oh, you got to be kidding. How did he not get a first down there? Look at this. I didn't get it. I did not get a first. Look, I, how, how did I not get a first? Somebody tell me, has that not a first down? And the clock stopped. We got to punt it. It's not worth trying to go for this and them stopping us. And they got great field position. Let's just punt this thing. This is going to the other side. Oh, great block right there. I thought I had a chance to get down there and get it. So it's first to 10 on the 20. I'm going to go cover three. They may try to do something with this. How was that not a first down? Man. And he's going to run with it. He's got nowhere to go either. And I'm going to let that clock, yeah, just let that clock go. I think both of us are ready to go to the locker room. And that may be it for the half. They're going goal line here. I'm going 4-2-5, just kind of keep everything in front of us. Just do something like this. Just have some guys on the back end. They probably won't snap it. I don't think they will. Ooh, they're going to. And that is the end of the first half. We're up 21 to 7. Let's go to some stats. 286 to 111. We are running the ball at wheel. I kind of expected that because we saw their stats earlier. They're just not a great rush defense team. And our passing game has given us some life as well. We're doing a good job on third down. Neither team has turned the ball over. So both are keeping it clean. Jackson, three of four, 90 yards, one touchdown. And you go to the run game. He is leading in attempts, 11 rushes, 92 yards, and two touchdowns. He is the man of the hour. He's probably been our MVP this season, if you think about it. These last few games, he has just been on an absolute tear. But Garner's got seven attempts for 88 yards. Uh, Newell and Allen have both got some touches as well. Receiving, Newell, Morrison, Williams. One reception apiece. We had that one big one to Newell for a touchdown, who's been like our go-to receiver these last couple of games. Defensively, Carter is leading there. And I'm not blitzing except for once. I had the one sack. But this kid's a stud. I mean, what can I say? He's been so good for us this year at freshman. Tackles for loss. We've had a few there. Sacks, a couple. Showers and Carter. And no interceptions. We get the ball back. Let's go right down the field score again. Try to go up three scores. That's middle of the field. I'm just going to let that one go. Not worth it. We are going to go. I'm going to go back to wide. And I'm going to go halfback tackle. I feel like we're getting a good push off the edge. Look at this right here. Just, oh, good play by that linebacker or defensive end. That 79 has been their best player on defense today. But we got five yards out of it. I'm going to go triple from Twins. And they're going 4-3. I may. That's a bad shift. I'm going to flip it. We're going to go with our wide receiver play. Just nothing there. He got stuck. He got stuck on my guard. And it just messed up the entire play. It's not what you're wanting. So it's third and five. 
I think I'm going to go power option. We're going to let Jackson handle this. I will probably run to the right. Just get up field. Just get a first down. We should get that. Should. There you go. I was fixing to say, if we don't get a first down there, then something's wrong. Yeah, we got more than a first down. So we are on the right hash. I think it's time to try play action again, if I can find it. Let's do the slot version. And they keep going man on it, which is okay. But this well, looks like the impact guy's on long. So we'll go to one of the outside receivers, more than likely. Cover one. We'll go back to the out route. Great catch by Morris. That's what they're giving us. They're not doing any cover zero today. I don't know if you've noticed that. Just hardly any cover zero. Let's do power option from Y this time. Well, that ain't good. We need a block on the outside. Ain't gonna have to cut up field. Incredible play by Jackson being patient. <laughs> that was scary. I'm like, okay, so I got to cut up. But McDaniel got just enough of a rub on that linebacker. Or, or that could have been a corner. Wow, that was nerve wracking. Good play there. I'm going to go back to split. Let's go basic triple. I, I usually run triple counter a lot. It's a little bit easier to work with. But I'm going to do basic triple. I think I'm going to run to the left. Make sure I do it correctly. There we go. Have to cut up field on that one. Get some yards with McDaniel. Finally got the dive read going. Second and three. I think I may go back to triple from normal. We're going zone. I'm going to run to the left. Great play by that linebacker. He just shot right on through like nobody picked him up. That's how you play linebacker right there. I mean, not, there's nothing you can do. I tried to pitch at the last second, just didn't work out. So that is what? Third and five? We're going to try power option again. Do we go to the left or to the right? I'm going to attempt to go to the left and just... Nobody picked up the defensive lineman again. McDaniel didn't get him. Nobody did. Oh, wow. So they are just shutting us down these last couple of drives. I'm going to punt it. Our defense is playing good. So we're going to rely on them for a while until our offense can figure out what to do. I'm going to come over here. Oh, terrible kick. But he's going to fair a kick. Oh, no, that's a flag. You bumped into me. He pushed me into him. He pushed me into him. Go back and look at that. They're going to get on the 25. That's terrible. Go back and look. This happened in like in a previous dynasty. Look, he pushed me into him. If I can get a cursor on him. He pushed me into him. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> and they called it on us. That's terrible. Terrible. So I'm going to attempt a zone blitz on this guy. We've tried it once and it worked really well. We'll do something like this. I'm going to try to he, intercept that. Intercept it. Intercept points. Game over. You ain't going to come. Oh, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get caught. No, get in there, Stokes. Play of the game right there. That may have sealed it. Incredible play by our defense. Shutting that down. He wasn't pressured. He just threw it to two guys right there for whatever reason. Oh, my gosh. Insane. Stokes made the tip and the interception. Humongous play. Thankfully, their quarterback isn't like the smartest dude out there. It helps that he's not. And I, Again, if you remember a few games ago, I got the CPU QB awareness up to 99, I think. But he's just a good, he's a good runner, but that's about it. And thankfully, they're not attacking us deep. Those are the teams we really struggle with. Teams that can run the ball and throw it deep. And they're not doing any of that today. Make a tackle, somebody. So here he goes. There, wow, good return. That kid's really good. I'd love to have him on my team. He'd be perfect on the outside in our offense. Unfortunately, he's not getting the ball enough. We'll go back to quarters. Going gun trips. 
RPO. And I whiffed on it. I could have got an interception there, and I just did not do a good job on it. Second and 10, though. Oh, man, I almost went with another blitz, but I'm not going to. We're going to go back to cover three. Yeah, the quarterback just isn't all that great. Imagine if they actually ran the ball with him a lot. They'd be killer. Great defense, pace. The kid's all over the field. Third and ten. We're going to go clown. Make good decisions, everybody. I'm going to, again, occupy this tackle over here. Just can't kind of, there he goes, off the back foot. Great catch. Yeah. Somebody had to make a play there. But he had all day to throw, and that was his last read. It's always that deep ball read is the last one. I'm going to go back to cover three. Do something like this. I'm going to stay in. See what they do here. They're going ace twins again. Going QB choice. Make a tackle, somebody. Wow, the kid's good. Look at him. Big run right there. Imagine if they were doing that all day. We'd be in a real world of hurt. But they're fixing the score on us. I'm going to go with SS Dogs. We'll just go cover zero the rest of the way. I'm going to do this, something like this. Force them inside because we got blitzers off the edge. And they're going right up the middle. Good call. <laughs> they knew exactly what to do there. All right. So that was a good little comeback for them. Now it's up to us to get that touchdown back. Let's see if we can do it. That's just a good drive, but it, all it took was that one deep ball, and it was all she wrote. So as soon as I started bad-mouthing their quarterback, he started playing better. <laughs> I'm going to give Williams a chance here. If we can get a block or two. Get a block or two. Get a block or two. Williams, go to the... <laughs> Great play, Williams. Huge play. Great answer. So what do we do from here? Um, I'm going to go halfback power. Let's just do basic runs. Looks like they're going to force me to go to the right. Get a block. Good block right there. Good block. First down, Gardner. He, there's his 100 yards on the day. We're going to try... Let's go triple again. Back to 5-2 they go. See, their entire defense line is pretty average. Just okay. Great job, McDaniel. Plug it up the, the B-gap right there just enough. I could have kept it as well. I think we have both options to work with. But we got to give him that little inside read and give him something to think about. Second and two. I almost wanted to go play action there, but I think we'll just run it. We'll go power option. I'm going to go back to the left. What worries me is that defensive end. He's been killing us. Oh, just enough of a pitch. Can we get a first down? Just enough. Whoo. I pitched it at the last millisecond. Somebody went up the A gap and just made our interior line look silly. Oh, they blitzed right there. Nobody picked up the linebacker. Thankfully, I had the wherewithal to pitch it right at the last second. First down. McDaniel's about to pass out. We're on the 24. I think I'm going to try that play action. They keep calling man on it. Okay, they're finally going zone. Maybe I can hit that little pocket between the free safety and that corner if they go cover two. And they're going cover two. Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> we got a quarterback. We got a quarterback. He's incredible. Incredible throw. I had time to throw right over the shoulder. That will be a really good thumbnail. Let me see if I can get that. I'm going to go right here. Something like this. This will be a pretty good one. Something like that. Maybe. I wonder if I can get my cursor like 
that. That will be a really good one. I think that's going to be our thumbnail of the day. Insane throw. I'm here to tell you, Carlton Jackson, if he can just stay healthy for another year or so, he'll be our most memorable quarterback in this one, I would think. Unless we get lucky and get invited to a bigger conference, because I'm not going to stay at Akron forever, we're going to get stuck in the back. Nobody wants to see that. I don't want to see it. That's the downside of being in these little group of five conferences. You're going up against a lot of bad teams, just as average as you are. It's way more fun if you're playing in these bigger conferences. I know it doesn't initially sound like it's a hard rebuild when you do something like that, but you got to think about who you're going to play against all the time. That's why the Arizona dynasty, the Duke dynasty, those are some of my favorite ones. Indiana. Again, you're going up against big-time teams all the time, it seems. Just way more fun. So back to cover three we go from 425. We'll stay in, run a little 4 3 look in the box. Going RPO, get him. Gonna pick up about 10 yards. I'm so glad they don't run the ball enough. I'm gonna go, oh, it's taking a one. They may actually run it just to pick up the first. But I'll stay in zone. Yep, halfback dive. Shoestring tackle, but he got the first. And Carlton Jackson is has a chance to get a thousand yards rushing this year. He's got over 900. 35 to 14. I'm feeling good. I think we're going to win this thing unless something crazy happens, which it can. But I think we're ready to put this thing to bed. I think we're ready to win our first conference championship. I know I'm ready. Let's see if I can get around this tackle. I think that Showers is going to go on the ends. Oops, good play by the halfback. Great tackle by Henry. Went halfback direct. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to go quarters out of nickel. Do something like this. High snap. Bad throw. Thankfully, their quarterback isn't all that great passing it. And it's third and four. They may run it. But I'm going to go cloud anyways. Do something like this. They may run off tackle. Nope. Uh, they're going QB draw. Make a tackle. Ah, Make a tackle. Ooh, who made the play right there? It was Pace. Pace, your impact players. They got to get involved somehow, and this is the way to do it. So they double teamed this guy more or less. Or... Two of our best players, Henry on defense, got his ankles broke, but it was Pace who made the play. And that should seal it. So what we're going to do is just do basic runs the rest of the way. I still want to get an easy touchdown here if I can. But that should seal the deal. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. Go, Allen. Sick. Oh, shoestring tackle. Great blocking, everybody. We're on the 10. I'm going to go back to triple. They're going 4 3. They're double teaming him. Hmm. I think I may just hand the ball off. Nope. Good job by the impact linebacker. It's, if, we're, if they're going cover zero against your triple, it's almost worth it just hand the ball off to your B back. If he can find just a, any of a bit of a hole, he can get a touchdown. As long as the blocking's good. That's always a factor, of course. Well, now they're going to force me to run right because I just do not trust that defensive end. I'm pretty sure our left tackle is going to be blocking this guy instead of the defensive end. So we're going to run to the right. Hopefully that impact linebacker doesn't make a big play here. Just get caught up. And he's not because we got a true freshman who's insane. Golly, what a ball player. Man. Incredible. It's a get off me son moment. It's just boom, where are you at? What are you doing? You are beneath me. That's what that play is right there. Oh my gosh. Insane. Let's see if I can get a better one like that. Wow. Incredible. So this game is over with. I'm going to sub out some dudes. We're going to put Getsy right here. We're going to take Gardner, put Allen in. Nobody else on offense I, I, I worry about. I do worry about, we'll put Carter in for corner. We still may have to run four or some nickel. Do I have another one? No, I don't have anybody else. We could put in Dixon. 
We'll put in Dixon and then Pace. I'm going to flip him and Samuel. And those are the big guys that I just want to take out. Because, again, we don't have enough depth in certain spots. I, I just can't do the mass subs. Maybe next year I can do that. And speaking of, we are so close to the off season. I can't wait for it. I can't wait to recruit some more. I haven't been able to recruit anything for like a month. All five guys we went after in the regular season committed early. A good base to the recruiting class. This should stay in bounds, but he's going to get some numbers on this side. i got to get to the outside. There you go. Good play, 47. I'm going to stay in 4-2-5. I know they're going spread. They're going four wide, but we'll do something like this. Nobody open over there. Good catch. Oh, did he catch him? Did he get him out of bounds? Oh, he was out of bounds. Ah. Otherwise, that was a decent throw. I'm going to go cover two, man. And we'll be a defensive tackle this time. Going speed option. Somebody make a tackle. Oh, wow. Great. Oh, good block. Make a tackle, Henry. Good run. Imagine, again, how many times have I said this? Imagine if they would have done more of that today. It would have been much tougher. But they chose not to maximize their talent, and that's on their offense coordinator. That's on them. All it would probably took was to have an impact halfback, and they'd be running more option. They'd be doing more of this. We're going to pick up four or five there. I think we're trying to zone blitz. They're staying. They're got more aggressive now on the run game, so we can get more aggressive with our pressures. Halfback draw. That's a good little call. wasn't expecting that. The halfback draws from under center work pretty well. A whole lot better than the ones from the shotgun. That's for sure. And I think I took out most of the shotgun draws just because they did not work well at all. I'm gonna go back to four two five. Cover three. Do something like this. They're going gun ace or gun tight. They got their tight ends in there. Intercept that. Huge. Is, are we on the one? We're on the one. Oh, that's terrible. But great play by our free safety. I'm trying to think who he's throwing it to. I think he's trying to throw to the receiver. No, he is throwing it to, I guess, him. And their quarterback just can't make good throws. And I think I got the QB, not the QB awareness. I think I called it QB awareness earlier. It's QB accuracy. I got that thing up to 99 on their end. But again, their quarterback just isn't very good in that department. So I'm going to go a basic dive here. I doubt they'll take any chances here. Can we just get up the field? Just here we go. Oh, face mask. Oh, you got to call that. And they didn't. On the two. Ugh. Let's go power. I'm going to run clock. We may get a safety here. We've got to be careful. They're double teaming him, which means I, I still think I may run to the left. I like our numbers over there. I think they're going to focus on Morris most of the time until just get up there, just get a first stay in bounds, but thankfully went outside. So it's first and 10. I'm going to go double ISO from wide. The clock has stopped, so we can just go ahead and snap it. Have to go to the outside again. A little double team tackle there. A little tag team action. But it's the first down. Everybody's just kind of gassed. I'm going to go probably, I'm going to go Sting. Where's it at? Let's go BB Sting. Run some more clock. One more first down ought to do it. But hey, guess what? We are conference champions. Who would have thunk it? Snap it. Eh, get up field. Fumble. I'll I swear. How many times has he done that this year? That's all on him. I just he just fumbled it. I didn't do anything goofy. He just burnt. 
And now you see why I don't give him the ball a whole lot. So what they're going to do is try to do like an onside kick. Hopefully we can recover that, and then we will not give him the ball again. So let's see if we can get a safe return. This is our onside kick defense here. Just get out of the way. Just, just get down. There you go. All right. Minute 29. I can't take a knee. We don't have enough. There's too much time left to do that, I think. I think we're going to need like another first down to do it. I'm going to go to the right. Got a block right there. And, and it's Gardner. First down. Unfortunately, we only took like five seconds off. But there goes the clock. I may have to do it one more time. So we'll just call it again. Either way, our first conference championship. Hopefully first of a few more before we get invited to a bigger conference. That, that Again, that's the key. If I get invited to a bigger conference, we're going to stay with Akron for quite a while. But if we get stuck in the MAC, I'm going to go pick another team in this dynasty. I think it'll be fun to just stick with the same foul. Good little play there. I'm just going to just get down, and then we'll take a knee. That's been the key to our success today. We've been able to get good blocking off the edge. We'll go QB Neal. And it'll take a couple snaps, and that'll do it. We'll look at some stats, and we got to remember, we got some stuff to look at after this. We're going to find out who we're going to play in our bowl game. We're going to look at awards, all that fun stuff. But a very good chance we should be playing, like, in the GMAC Bowl. I think the number one MAC team does go there. Seven, six, five, four. There we go. So we don't even have to snap it here. We may get Coach of the Year award. It'll be close. I think we were, what, third or something last time we looked at it, or second maybe? So it's possible we may get our first, like, trophy of the dynasty if you want to go by individual awards. But there you go. MAC champions had a killer season all around. We, we were blessed to have a good schedule. We didn't go up against any hardcore running teams. That just that helps. But there it is, eight and one record, phantom hug and a shake there. So let's go out, let's speed this up. Great win, everybody. Just a good job all across the board. And that score doesn't really do it justice. I wonder how we would have faced against Toledo. Toledo still has that big impact halfback that would have given us some trouble. 463 to 262, we have 342 yards rushing. When we do that, we're probably going to win, at least against teams like this, like this that are like, what, C-plus overall. We threw the ball well enough, five or six. We ended up even having a couple touchdowns. This is a perfect day passing-wise for our offense when we do something like that. 50% on third down. They had a couple of turnovers late. That helps in the scoring and everything, but we ended up having that one turnover at the end, which – Pretty insignificant. You go to individual stats, MVP of the day, Carlton Jackson, 5'6", 121 yards, two touchdowns through the air. Then he had 16 carries, 110 yards, and two touchdowns. What did I say in the last video? I think this is his best game of the season. Well, this could have been his best game of the season. Either way, he has just been on fire. And, oh, by the way, our freshman halfback or A-back, Brandon Garter, 126 yards, and he got a touchdown himself. We had a few other guys get to carry the ball. The boot, and he got receiving. Morris had a really good day, three receptions, 38 yards and a touchdown. And New Whale had that big, I guess that was the biggest play of the game, was that rollout to him against cover two zone. You go to defense, Hickman led in tackles with four. I controlled him a lot of the time. I'm trying to remember if I had any of those tackles, though. Tackles for loss, we had a few. We had a couple of sacks. And we ended up finally getting a couple of interceptions, and those were late. You go to the box score. It was the second and third quarter. The middle quarters we dominated, and that was able to us to get to win. So let's get out of here. Let's check out some fun stuff, see who we're going to play. We're going to find out here in about five to ten seconds. We may see some other things as well. We will see the 
Oh, wow. There it is. I am national coach of the year. Good job, Mal. I guess I've done my part this year. We'll definitely accept that. Akron has won that MAC championship. We'll definitely accept that. And we're going to take on North Texas in the Motor City Bowl. My bad, not the GMAC. It's the Motor City. So we're going to go right back up to Detroit and play in the same building. That should be a whole lot of fun. They're 6 and 5. But last time I checked, I think North Texas got a bunch of good running backs, from what I remember. Here is the Heisman uh, Trophy. Adrian Peterson wins that one in a landslide. Good for him. I do not want to save it. What I want to do is go over to weekly. Let's look at our championship games. So we won. Georgia beat LSU in overtime. That would have been a fun one to watch. Oklahoma over Missouri in the Big 12. Florida State over Georgia Tech by a point. Looks like Florida State's heading to the national title game. And then Eastern Carolina over Tulsa in the conference USA title game. Let's go to Sports Illustrated, and there it is, Florida State. They're going to take on somebody. We're about to find out. Bowl rankings, they're going to take on Michigan. That's going to be a classic power uh, five matchup. Miami, USC, and Georgia rounded out the top five. Top 25 polls, I think we ended, what, probably 22nd? I already I didn't look earlier. 24th. Either way, it's just awesome to be ranked. Heisman winner, we already saw that. Let's look at the other award winners. Adrian Peterson wins your Maxwell Award. Benaric Award goes to a linebacker for Northwestern. Had a really good season. Quarterback of the award goes to Purdue's, what's his name, Brandon Kirsch. I hope I said that correctly. Just curious to see if Carlton would have got on there. I guess he didn't get enough touchdowns. Walker Award. I know Gardner has been on this list. He's been stuck at the nine spot like ever since the award stuff came out midseason. But look at his stats here, 1,383 yards rushing, 22 touchdowns on the ground, 166 yards receiving, and a touchdown through the air as well. Incredible. Receiver uh, looks like Boise State wide receiver Drizen, James, Dryzen. Is that how you say that? Dryzen possibly. You go to tight end, went to a kid for BYU. Offensive line uh, award, Doug Free from Northern Illinois. Good for him. He must be yep, left tackle. And they've got the good running back. Didn't we lose to them this year? That was one of our losses, I think. You go to the Remington. So our center, Andy Willis, finished fifth. I think that's pretty good. We're going to miss him dearly next season. Lombardi Award goes to the kid out of Nebraska. Linebacker Award, that's the same kid that won the Big Nerd. The Thorpe Award. South Carolina, Brandon Isaac, strong safety. But look who's there. True freshman, Big Joe Carter. Really cool to see him on that list. The Groza Award goes to a kid from Florida State. Samizia, that name sounds familiar. Punter, Oklahoma punter. As good as they've been this year, that they must have had to punt a lot to, this year. You go to best returner, NC State corner, A.J. Davis. Coach of the year, yours truly. Awesome to see that. All-Americans, let's see if we got a few on here. I think we're going to have at least a couple freshman All-Americans. Let's go to the first team. I'm just quickly going through to see if we're on here anywhere, and we are. So there is Joe Carter made the first team All-American list. A lot of that was due to this number right here, 14 sacks. We just done a lot of blitz, and when you got a cornerback that's got like 96 speed, you put him at nickel and you blitz, and that's what we've done this year. I noticed Eastern Carolina had like a, several guys. They had a defensive tackle on the list. They had a guard and a tackle. That's one of the things with this game, and I guess some of the other ones, they don't care what conference you're from. If you're putting up great numbers, you're going to get on this list because look how many group of five players made the list. Boise State, Louisiana Tech, Northern Illinois. Then you got two Eastern Carolina kids. Then you got Tulsa, Eastern Carolina, Akron. You know, just half of the group is group of five kids. Either way, that's still pretty cool. There it is. Brandon Garner, second team All-American. Not freshman All-American, Overall, second-team All-American. Just an incredible season for him, and he's got some good things to come. Andy Willis, second-team All-American center. Who would have thought that was going to happen? And he's like a 78 overall, I think. We can go. He's 85 overall. Yes, we're going to miss him badly. That ain't going to be good next year. I don't think we'll have anybody that can replace him. Freshman All-American, look at this. So Alex Allen made your freshman All-American list. Who would have thought that? But he had nine touchdowns, almost 600 yards, but we run the ball so much, I guess we could pull that off. And then, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Brandon Garter, is going to be on this list. Carter should be on here, and he is. 
And look who else is on here. True freshman, Jeff Hickman. I control this guy a lot of times when we're in the 4-2-5, especially when we're playing zone and such. Ended up having an okay season. 32 tackles, a sack, a couple interceptions, a couple touchdowns. I'm, I'm sure I had one of those touchdowns, one of those pick sixes. Awesome to see, though. So we had several dudes on those lists, and a lot of them were young pups. Let's go to bowl games. I just want to look at the bottom ones. Here we are in the Mosier City Bowl. We all know that. Go to the bottom. So Michigan and Florida State in the national title game. They got Miami and Pittsburgh. Oh, that's a classic Big East matchup. Oklahoma and Georgia, and then USC and Purdue, Florida and Ohio State. So those are your big bowls. We'll go to Players of the Week. Quarterback Paul Thompson, Oklahoma, uh, wins that. Of course, you got to remember there weren't many games in that championship week. But look at Brian Stokes, MVP defensively. Really cool to see they had an interception and a touchdown. Let's go over to conference standings. We know we've won this one. We officially done that today. We're MAC champions. You just look at the final look. Toledo, Eastern Michigan, Ohio. Again, I wonder, I'm thinking Toledo would have had a better game against us than Eastern Michigan. Look, they had a two-game win a record over Eastern Michigan, but Eastern Michigan must have won the tiebreaker. Either way, I want to look at the divisions. Akron, Ohio, Miami of Ohio, then Kent State, Buffalo, and Bowling Green. You look over at the west, Toledo, Technically, then Eastern Michigan, Northern Illinois, Central Michigan, Western Michigan, and you got Ball State. We got to go back here, look at our team info screen because we got one more game to play, the bowl game. No injuries. Jackson is just having a killer season. He's got 1,400 yards passing and almost 1,000 yards rushing. I don't remember the last time I had a quarterback that had over 1,000 yards rushing and put up decent numbers passing. It's just, It's been a while. But Gardner averaging 115 yards a game. Williams is still technically our leading receiver. Carter is leading in tackles and sacks. Then you got Pace leading in interceptions. So let's go over to, is that the Sun Belt? We got to check out North Texas. There they are. So they got a center that is out. Their last game, they got beat by Louisiana Tech. But look at their quarterback, 20 touchdowns, only two interceptions. But this is my worry. This number right here. I knew in the original base rosters, they had two impact halfbacks. Both of them still may be back. I'm guessing this guy's going to be an impact guy. And if that's the case, we're in for a bit of a dogfight. I don't care what their record says. But they got a bunch of random dudes kind of doing a little bit of everything. So that's what we got coming up in the Motor City Bowl. We are going to take on... North Texas. You look, they got a little bit more talent than we do. This is actually one of the more talented teams we've faced all year. They're, I'm trying to think if anybody in our conference was above like a C plus. Well, they're a B minus. You look at their stats. One of the best offenses in the country. Look at their rushing stats. Fourth in the country. Looks like they rush defense is pretty good. So this may be a bad matchup for us, but they haven't faced us yet either. We got the number one rushing attack in the country, and hopefully we can unleash that on the um in that game. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Let's wrap up this season strong and let's head into the off season and have some fun there. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.